Welcome back, you bunch of dicks. It's me, Ben. A no-nonsense biker who ain't got time for nothing except getting in, pulled into complicated mysteries which involve random mechanics I meet and, and lead me to get involved with corporate politics of multinational motorcycle companies. Um, just kidding. It's me, Gaming J. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Let's Play a Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are returning for a very special part three of Full Throttle. So originally when I played this game and I filmed parts one and two, I didn't think I would necessarily finish the game, but um, some of you out there were kind of interested to see how this game turned out, and I'm never one to turn down um, a fan request, so why the hell not? Let's jump back in and see um, where it is that this whole crazy biker experience has led us. So, uh, whoa, what is this? I don't think that's where I want to be. Uh, can I go over here? Okay. This is like a, uh, you know, Corley Motor Company factory or something. It looks like um, the scariest place on Earth. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, can we go in here? Those uh, weapons were at a weight. Yeah. Oh, I guess he dumped the weapons. Hello, I would like to come I'm here in. for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. Yeah. All the shareholders were notified. Too bad I am suspected yeah. of the murder. Well, buddy. I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. <laughs> Ooh, the witty comebacks, the rippy, witty repertoire of this this uh, this uh, biker dude here. Uh, where am I supposed to go here? I know I'm looking for like a gift shop or something. Um, this is pretty sweet, this like animation going on up here. Corley Motors. Yeah, but doesn't this Tell feel like El here. Diablo's motorcycle Wake company? Out your hat. Wake um, out your okay. pants. Sure, sure. Take it first man. Just don't go out of range. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Um, this is fun, I suppose. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the battery. Corley Motors merchandise. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Okay, give me a bunny. All right. Let's see the cash, amigo. Hallelujah. No bunnies, <laughs> no yucks. Am I right? Hmm. Okay. We need to become a very creative hobo here, because we need that bunny. But this guy clearly ain't just going to hand it over. So, let me see what we can do here. Alright, we're going to do the old bait and switch on this poor guy here. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, distraction here. I really care about the cotton quality of my shirts, so... Sucker! <laughs> Give me that damn bunny. Cotton. Took you long enough to figure that out. You were just robbed. I don't know if you noticed that. That's or not. too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. I'm also allergic to bullshit. <laughs> and people who waste my time. I feel like when I try to imitate this guy's voice, you get kind of like a dirtbag Christian Bale. I don't know if that's what you guys, uh, you guys are noticing. So we're gonna see what's off in this direction. I have a feeling we're gonna have a use for this uh, bunny. It's like a hu human skeletons here. Like, where are we? In what country would this be remotely legal? Let's let's operate a factory right next the to uh, hideout on the other side of this field. Right next to a place with a literally human bodies. So and there are some mines. Um, like most like most motorcycle gangs. This gang has decided to protect uh, their their hideout with um, mines. Uh, I don't know where a gang gets military grade mines. Oh god, Bunny, hurry the hell up. Can I kick this thing? I just want to kick it into the field and watch it explode. Kick. No bunny punter. It's like they knew that that uh, people would get impatient and want to do that. All right, this bunny is going to take its time to explode. 
So one thing that's interesting about this game, I was thinking about adventure games in general, is that, um, well actually, you know, this is more true of the like LucasArts uh, and Telltale adventure games. All right, the bunny, the bunny blowed up, uh, but we got his batteries. That's what we really wanted. You know, we could have just taken the batteries out of the bunny, but instead we kind of went through a long convoluted process of bunny killing because we're a little sadistic like that. Um, but in these adventure games, it's sort of like the stuff you need to, to succeed is always available to you. Like imagine in real life how if, no matter what daunting problem there is, like we have to get into the shareholders meeting and stop a guy from like, I don't know, changing motorcycles into minivans. I think that's the plot of this game. But, you know, what do we have to get in there? We have like no stuff around us, but we're gonna use bunnies and t-shirts and little remote control cars. We're gonna get Bunny in there, guys. Bunny, so, they'll shut up on the long drive home. so like, there's always the stuff that you need in these games to Imagine beat them, obviously. Life into it. Imagine real life were like that, where no matter what sure, the sure. problem, there was Imagine always the right tools just around you if you just thought about it creatively enough. And you know what? Maybe... I want to keep going. I don't know where to go. How do I how do I stop doing this thing? I've distracted this guy. Wait, no. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, we're gonna do this. Sucker! Hey, don't go in there. <laughs> Alright, you go get your car, buddy, while I rob you blind. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. <laughs> He's really concerned about this car. Oh, it's just me and the bunnies. <laughs> it sounds weird, man. Let's take this box of bunnies. I needed a box of bunnies and that dick wouldn't give it to me. So I straight up robbed him. Took his livelihood. He, he, it's a really bad spot for like a little gift store. There were no customers. I mean, who's hanging around this god-awful place? Not people you want to sell bunnies to. Anyway, imagine in real life that the tools you needed were always available to you. Um, that'd be kind of interesting. In fact, actually, you might be able to argue that really that is true. I mean, there's tons of tools available to us all the time. And if you think creatively enough, you can maybe the solve some problems. Been replanted. Um, Tiny that, little vultures. <laughs> that seem problematic, all right. Well, did they count on this? Did they count on a thousand freaking bunnies? God, they go so slow. And like they're all together, so like one mind's gonna wipe them all out. Okay. Well, the bunnies did their thing. Guess what guys? We have to go get more bunnies. You back. Because, dang it, if the only way we can think to uh, clear this minefield is the I want to know how the vultures are getting through that minefield. That looked pretty treacherous. It looked like pretty much anywhere you could walk, there were mines. What kind of gang protects their hideout with mines? It just doesn't make any sense. It's uh, a very, very dangerous, you know, uh, way to protect yourselves. It's like, oh, what happened to Jimmy? Well, he, uh... He, he, you know, you know, he was coming in early this morning. He kind of wasn't paying attention to where he was going, and he's dead. Literally, he's just gone. He's dead. Um, that is not the type of work environment you want to belong to. I wouldn't want to belong to a club that did that to its members. You know, there's a risk of death involved in this club. That would have to be a pretty significant club, I think. Um, they would at least have to offer some kind of free parking deals or dental or something. But, um, all right, so another thing about this game, obviously, is that, um... I wonder if they're gonna get farther this time, or what's gonna happen? Oh, you goddamn bunnies, hurry up! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, so this game also, you know, I talked about LucasArts in the previous videos. And, uh... Mark Hamill here, Luke Skywalker, does the voice of the main bad guy. And... Oh, 
Man, I'm like losing my train of thought watching these things go so slowly. Um, but yeah, oh, I know what I want to talk about. The fact that there are lots of Star Wars references in this game. So, um, if you notice, if you go back and watch my second video where I'm, um... Man, that bunny's getting far. If you go back and watch my second video where I am, um, looking at... God, I'm getting so distracted here. Where I'm fighting guys on that stupid Highway 44. You'll notice that a lot of the guys have, or not a lot of the guys, but some of the guys have tattoos of Star Wars. Some of the guys have tattoos of the Rebel Alliance or the Empire, which is pretty funny. Um, and there's been some subtle Star Wars references in here um, otherwise. So if you've caught on to it, uh, good for you. I think there are even some Star Wars sound effects, but it's not coming to me off the top of my head exactly um, where we might have heard them in this game. But yeah, anyway, uh, it's a LucasArts game, Star Wars references, it's kind of appropriate with the new Star Wars game um, on its way out uh, very soon. Okay, go. Um, yeah, and are you guys excited for the new Star Wars movie? The first Star Wars movie to not have George Lucas involved. Um, that seems, you know, you gotta give credit to the guy. The guy invented Star Wars. I mean, no one's denying that, and without him, you know, we just wouldn't have Star Wars, so definitely, he's earned his place of respect. But at the same time, the prequels, they sucked. I'm just going to come out and say it. They weren't good movies. Um, definitely not worthy of the Star Wars mantle, in my opinion. This is my opinion. You can disagree with me. And so, I'm looking forward to a new Star Wars movie that does not involve George Lucas. Um, oh my god, what's happening here? I thought I was supposed to keep going and getting bunnies. But, like, these things are not making it through. No. Um, I may need to figure out an alternative solution here. Oh, you stinking bunny. You stupid, stupid bunny. Uh, okay, guys. Well, we were doing it wrong the whole time. I hope you enjoyed watching those bunnies uh, kill themselves. Because we got to do it two more times, although I'm totally going to edit this. All right, so here's what we got to do. we got to drop these stupid bunnies. I mean, how many bunnies have I sacrificed here? And we now got to pick them up. we got to not let them blow up. Come here, you stupid bunnies. Come here. Come here. Alright. We got all our stupid bunnies. We gotta go get a second box. I don't know why the guy couldn't just take two boxes at one time. It was too complicated. I like these puzzle adventure games, but I don't like when they artificially handicap you by stupid nonsense like that. If every time I go back, there's another box of bunnies. Why can't I just take two boxes? Why do I have to let them go there, too? Why can't I let them go in front of the store and then pick them up and then pick up a second box and then go to the mine field? I don't know. It's, it's you know what? This this is kind of a, a stupid puzzle, in my opinion. Um, I definitely <laughs> I don't know if I would have figured this out as a kid. Um, but yeah, ooh, okay. Now we've figured it out. Now we have twice the bunnies. Um, well, la dee da, right? Um, okay. Because the other thing is, I don't know, are the vultures just sitting in their lair like, oh, he blew up more mines with bunnies. Get out there and bury them before he comes back. Like, they're literally planting new mines within, like, 30 seconds to a minute. These guys are really on, on top of their game. I'm going to go in there, and I bet there's going to be, like, one person in there. The logic of this game is really lacking. That's what we can say. All right. Here's a stupid box. I like how he just like literally just throws on the ground like trash. I'm like, get out of hell with this. I got better things to do than let a bunch of stupid bunnies loose in a minefield. Ooh, bunnies are blowing up. Die, you little bastards. They don't even really look like bunnies. They look like weird little slugs or something. Boom. 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 
Alright. Now we start letting bunnies loose one at a time. <laughs> oh god. I made this sword so tedious. think to do this? Who, when confronted with a minefield, is like, well, we gotta go buy rabbits. A lot of rabbits. I don't even know if these guys are gonna make it far enough. I swear, if I have to go back for more rabbits... Oh god, let's just risk it. <laughs> Thank god. Oh, who are these people? That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. Susie? You sure? Yeah. Susie? Is this That's Maureen? That's the guy who killed my father. Alright, vultures! Rack them up! What? Ooh, that's, really that's not good for the old, uh, Listen, Mo, twig and berries. You're making a big mistake. Okay, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. Shouldn't do this at all, in fact. In fact, you should just totally stop Susie. what you're doing. Uh -oh. Um, hold on. Your father is killed by Rip Burger. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Okay, that didn't work. Um, Malcolm wants wants you to take over his company. Corley and I were friends. I. I said shut up about my dad. All right. Let me go. Enough of this crap. She All only understands what? threats. Uh, I'll call you names. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? How about, uh, oh, the diaper dynamo. That was something from one of the other videos, diaper right? Diaper dynamo. How? Boom. Let you hear that name. Boom. Your father. He told me just before he died. You right. bludgeoned my father. Why do you and think I killed your dad? Old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. Why does she think I killed her dad? The photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. Yeah. I. I, I duh. Still that role. <laughs> well, develop it, would you? Yeah, maybe you should develop well, film that is clothes. crucial evidence about the murder of your okay, father you before you try and murder someone for hey. killing your father. <laughs> hey. I said you let me go. Man, she became like a Mad Max person all of a sudden. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't, don't worry, worry about it. it. Happens to me all the time. Burger. People are constantly oh, trying to kill me. I'm like Indiana Jones. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. I've really become committed into this little, uh, the shareholders meeting. He made Escapade, a statement you guys got going on. No meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. Why does my guy even so, care? No shareholders meeting until we're both dead. Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. I'm in like some one. kind of gang of Adrian random Ripper chicks here, and there's like one. <laughs> the gang of girls has a token black guy. The oh man. Um, I don't First even know what to make of that. Tonight, smash up um, Derby is a vintage hard tale oh man, this, this woman's voice is so familiar. Rip Where is she from? Come on, she, this, this woman is from somewhere. Where is she from? So ben and Mo play along, yeah. put on you know, I'm so bad for these cutscenes, I'm just talking over them. Derby, uh, I, I'm glad I have the subtitles on so you guys can pay attention. I don't know if you're paying attention. Uh, the trick is, uh, what is our plan? We're going to infiltrate Corley Motors and try and now, show that Rip Burger uh, killed, killed Corley. That's basically it. By a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes Oh, wait, we're, no, no, no. We're going to fake our own death or something like that. someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah. That's another question. Man, I where's this woman's voice from? When your car explodes, Futurama. You climb from she's it um, she's mom. This is mom from Futurama. Distracting hmm. the audience. How far she has fallen? In your cute suit, of course. <laughs> asbestos. That's some plan. All right then. 
Let's go blow your little darlings up. <laughs> All right, folks. Hang on to your Boy, it's awfully convenient it's that a demolition start. derby was starting. Uh, very soon after all this. Also, there's like no one in the parking lot. There was no one in line for this thing. Do we? Is there an audience? I, I have. I find it hard to believe anyone is here. <laughs> That's not suspicious at all. The unknown Avenger. Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? You could literally trim this guy's voice out and use it as like, uh, in like Joker videos if you wanted to make a fan video about the Joker. Um, and people would know the difference. Little Mark Hamill and his sinister evil voice. I feel like after Star Wars, he kind of got written off for a long time, where people didn't really think... I mean, he didn't really get cast in anything very good. Um, <laughs> my guy's pissed. And uh, anyway, he kind of got written off after Star Wars. He didn't do much, but he's totally experienced a resurgence um, ever since, I think, in my, in my opinion. I mean, where I've known Mark Hamill from, obviously Star Wars. But then when he played the Joker in the Batman animated series, that's where he kind of really... Um, started to stand out to me. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming to kill you, Mo. Or fake your death. Oh, this is interesting. Huh. Um, I guess they're not gonna allow me to... Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Get over there. This is interesting. I do like how they added some different gameplay elements here. Um, hold on. I don't know what to do. Ben, what are you doing? Get over here and nail me. What if I could, sweetheart? Okay, we need to get on this ramp. If this guy in the green car would stop being a dick about things. That car I stole when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Yeah, these babies in the glass jaw. Now I'm supposed to push this thing all the way to the right. Then I can't avoid these other cars for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on to your. Ugh. Oh man. And now my poor action game skills. Uh, are really going to hinder us from finishing this game. Anyway, Mark Hamill... Oh, are you kidding me? Did you see that? This is harder to control than it looks, because I'm controlling it with the mouse. And so when I scroll the mouse to the left or right, I kind of move left or right. Okay. Stay away from me, green car. Okay, here we go. Anyway, Mark Hamill, I really knew him as a Joker from Batman the Animated Series. That's like one of the first places that, um... Hey, get away from me. Oh, God. Okay. I see what has to be done. Um, but that's that's where I first, uh, first knew about Mark Hamill. And anyway, long story short, I think the guy's experienced a resurgence. Um, especially with him now being in um, The Force Awakens, although as a very mysterious role. Okay, there's got to be a way to control this better than the, than the mouse, because this just sucks. I like how that brown car gets in position. He's like, oh, you're going in the jump here. Let me, um, let me just uh, get in the way here. Oh, God. Okay, so I found out you can control this using the arrows, and now look at me go. This is a thousand times easier than the mouse. Why on earth was I using the mouse? Um, and also, Maureen has stopped talking to me, so I'm pretty sure she's dead. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you like that move, buddy? Buddy boy? Okay. 
Get this guy over here. Come on. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. People in the audience are probably like, what the hell is he doing? He's pushing one of the cars all the way to the other side. To what end? What is happening? Now he's pushing it up the ramp very slowly. This would be the most weirdest demolition derby thing to watch ever. Okay. Okay, boom, boom, brothers. And somehow that worked. Somehow that propelled me. <laughs> okay, I guess that, that stalled them. What is going on in that car? I would like to know. Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it. That's what she said. <laughs> oh god, it's hot. Why did I agree to this plan? <laughs> um, are you just gonna leave me on fire here? Screw that, I'm getting the hell out of here. Um, I may be burning the place down. Could somebody please put me out? <laughs> there are all the people. I wonder how many people bought uh, bunnies. Is he still in there fiddling around with whatever they're fiddling around with? that firefly while he's hot. I wonder if that works. Like, if you have a car and it's not starting. <laughs> Look at him run. That's like brain, isn't it? Pinky in the brain. Brain. Um, but if you have a car that wouldn't start, would it do anything to continue to... to, like, hammer on it? Like, continue to try and start it? I don't know. Are you guys gonna let me off? <laughs> now what happens? We seem to be the stalemate, sir. All right, follow me into here, buddy boy. Like an idiot that you are. are you, would you actually? That was stupid of you. What happened? Uh, the car drove into a in flaming inferno. What do you think? We finally happened? got him, Bolus. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us ten thousand shares of stock each. What an arbitrary number. Is that the going rate for murder? Ten thousand shares of stock. What's that? The temperature light? Wow. That was like the stupidest villain monologue I've ever heard. Twenty thousand shares of stock. Again, who who agreed that ten thousand shares was the going rate for murder? This is news to me. They're saying it as if everyone should know this. Oh yeah, by the way, 10,000 shares for killing. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What are you looking for? What key are you talking about? What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. The key to your but father's safe and I can't has find been in you all along. Looks like a key. It's self-confidence, Maureen. It's self-confidence. Uh, what's in the safe that's so important? What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? Hmm. He didn't want a people to find out about my mom. There. So let's What's recap so what we've about Mrs. Corley. done so far. She Woke up in a dumpster, been accused of uh. murder. No, wait, we weren't even accused of murder. I don't know why we were in a dumpster initially. We kind of skipped that early cutscene, my bad. But then we, we, you know, got in a motorcycle accident. She saved us for no reason. Luckily, she saved us because we got wrapped up in her father's murder real quick. 
Um, and then we got accused of his murder. Then she tried to kill us. Now we faked our own death. Are you guys following along? I don't know what the hell's happening. Um, you might as well tell me how we're going to get in the factory. But how are we going to get in the factory? As if that matters. In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. Convenient. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. Oh, man, I know her voice, too. Where do I know, I know her from? Work himself. Don't you guys hate that when you, nah, uh, you when see, like, six. a cartoon or, or a game and you mm. hear voices and you know there's someone you know, um, but you can't place it? That kind of stuff drives me crazy. I'll see what I can do. Leave right. it to me, baby. I like how he has different hmms. What are all these numbers? That's a lot of numbers, guys. If you actually saw a guy staring at a series of parts, let's kick him. Nah, I think she has um, them in And he was going, hmm, 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 hmm. You'd think the guy was going nuts. And I'm just gonna assume one of those numbers is what we needed. Here, take the photos. Thanks, baby. I don't want them. Show them to someone important to get I mean, they're photos that exonerate me for murder. Maybe you should just like re release those to the public, the press, you know? Something like that. I mean, why don't why don't we go into the cops here? Why don't we go into the cops? Alright, here we go. Don't want the power company after me, too. Mm. <laughs> That's the least of your concerns, buddy. Um, this is confusing. Oh, <laughs> I did not think that would work that easily. Pretty, pretty slick, eh? Our little secret passage. Um, this looks like the office from, like, Blade Runner or something. More human than human. She was a skin job, and I would only find out too late. Um, now it's like a haunted house. Wait. There's a floor safe. I mean, you would never know this if you didn't have a, uh, walkthrough. I, I mean, if, if I wasn't very good at video games. Um, yeah, there were a bunch of numbers on uh, car parts there. I have a photographic memory, though, so I am able to just go back into my mind. I think there was a number 154492. Cha-ching! I'm also, I'm also actually a world-renowned sort of safe cracker, so I kind of got that going for me, too. And a tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Also, there were several thousand dollars which I uh, also took. All right, let's let's try these different doors. Uh, Looks like the meeting started. Hey, you was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great shareholders person. meetings. Okay. His I mean, obviously, we're going to show the photos that Mo just gave us, and we're going to reveal this guy as the murdering scumbag he is. We talked of a day when Corley Why would Corley even keep this guy around? Into a new vehicular age. Does not make a lot of sense. This guy is, like, clearly and villainous. although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected. Okay. We get the idea. Hey, who are you? How long have That's been totally there? a man doing that voice. Oh, security. It's like Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Help. Brothers. Security! Uh oh. What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Uh oh. Move. Uh oh. Man, this must be saying things. <laughs> I mean, Corley's safe is clearly open, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's crazy. Alright, uh, let's see here. We got a, uh, what is this? Corley Motors. Uh, key card or something like that? Cool. <laughs> Radical. 
Um, okay, wait. Now what do we do? Um, you know what? Hey, when in doubt, let's just uh, start messing with things. Uh, that seemed to work. It's sort of my, uh... <laughs> What the hell is going on? About? My motto in life. We don't know what to do. I Just start flicking it. switches. I'm sure it'll work out in the end. The lamp and motor controls here. Uh, Hurry up, Dr. Girlfriend. Uh, yes. Those look like sweet vans, actually. Where was I? I know that in the context of this game... I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less oh. adjusting. I know that in the context of this game, you're really supposed to not... Uh, you don't want... Uh, you know, Corley Motors to start Man, making uh, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this? Uh, vans, but uh, those look like sweet vans. Ah. Help! <laughs> Security! A man is watching me work. It was that same guy, the big one. Catch him this time, will ya? Hmm. Okay, clearly I need to do some more sabotage. This is here. gonna get old fast. Third time's a charm, baby. Let's just let's just break this stupid thing. Um, all right. Flip in this. Flip in this. Flip in this. Flip in this. Well, that did something. Ay ay ay! This is intolerable. <laughs> I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, mm, uh, yes. That didn't break it. Damn it, how do we break this thing? Now then. What you see before you right now. That's what we wanted. Sabotage. Good luck fixing it oh, this time, perfect. Davis. <laughs> Hurry up and fix it before I the monarch shows jokes. up. <laughs> you know, this. Alright, we don't need to hear anecdote, buddy. You're about as interesting as paint drying. Pachink! How about we uh, throw some photos up and project those? I. I like how I'm like a, just a motorcycle dude, and I totally know how to like mess with all this projection equipment. I mean, those are some really good photos of murder. You done caught, son. Hello there. If you're hearing this, I must have. You done. Well, got people caught. gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people, and that's what, what I need to talk old about old today. Fella. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. If he knew this before he was dead, why didn't he fire the guy? This doesn't make any sense. If your right hand man you suspect of uh, being so sinister he may murder you, maybe he shouldn't be a right hand man. Just saying. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Get him! Get him, boys! I'm sorry. Take 10,000 shares from him. From he killed somebody. One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid... Oh, jeez. Moe's been in the audience the whole time watching this? He was haunted by... And here's one of them. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. A woman in charge of a motorcycle company. Do I have a heck of a story for you? By the time I'm so you know what's interesting about these uh, adventure games? This man should be in jail. Is that these old adventure games? They don't really have any spidering plot. There's no there's no choices you have to make, and that's something else I was thinking that really differentiates the kind of new Telltale games from these classic adventure games. The classic adventure games are a nice, interesting story um, that you can play through once. But once you've played it through once, there's not too much replay value. 
Um, the Telltale games, at least there's some semblance that you have Run choices that change things. When it's time um, to although, find unfortunately, I mean, the Walking trail. Dead Telltale games are amazing. Yes, of but if you ever try and replay them, you'll realize just how little your choices Any actually matter. Um, a lot of things happen no matter what oh, you choose. But devil. Um, oh, hey, at least you have the illusion of choice. I think choice is something, again, that didn't exist in a lot of these old games. A lot of these old games are really focused on the puzzle-solving aspect. And once you've solved it once, it's, that's kind of it for these games. Um, you may play it again in the same way that you enjoy so, an old movie, but you wouldn't necessarily... And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. You wouldn't necessarily get a different experience the next time you play. Don't remind me. So are we just a couple now? Mo's just like, all right, look, let's just hook up. Let's just totally be together. At this point, I'd settle for just a little piece and. Oh, it won't be that easy. See, Jesus, what kind of truck has machine guns built in? And why? Why don't I own that truck? Oh man! <laughs> Oh, and she's dead. She interrupted my speech. <laughs> Would you guys ever get a motorcycle? I, I feel like motorcycles are incredibly dangerous. Oh my God, what's happening? Um. Can't you make this damn thing wait. go any faster? The Vulture Gang got a plane. Jesus. Talk about backup. Backup really showed up this time. But yeah, I feel like motorcycles are pretty damn dangerous, case in point, and so yeah, I don't know if I would, uh, if I would want to ride one. Jesus! Oh man, he's playing for keeps now. Um... If I touched it, it would fall off. If I touched it, it would fall off. Can I kick this thing? Oh, <laughs> he answered me directly. Ah, oh, I want to grab his uh, his cane when he sticks it out. You know what's funny is I totally remember this scene, but I thought it was far more zoomed in in my memory. Um, I don't remember it being this far zoomed back. Isn't that interesting how, like, you know, you can remember really, really old things, but you often misremember them, like... In my memory, it was dark, it was black as the background, not the sort of brown... I don't know, very different. Um, now my guy is contemplating what to do. How about a trusty old tire iron to the fuel line? Seems about right. Oh, she ain't dead. Well, can't win them all. No one sneaks up on me from behind. Oh. The truck just got eaten by a plane. But it has machine guns. Seriously, what kind of truck is that? What is it used for? We need a, a truck with lots of machine guns for uh I thought you said work. this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Uh, I guess, you know, if you watch the cutscenes and stuff, the stuff makes You're sense. Going You're going to kill all of us. The Vulture's hideout wasn't playing. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Uh, duh. Hmm. My guy likes to hmm a lot. Okay, somebody go kill Rip Burger. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this plane. He's like unfazed. <laughs> That's hilarious. So much that guy has the aim of a stormtrooper. I could have used those. Yeah, no, <laughs> no kidding, buddy. Um, uh oh, take off. Uh, pre takeoff. How about wait, wait, no wait, back gear. And raise gear. Here goes nothing. Imagine your car was like a giant plane. That'd be pretty crazy. Why did no one kill him? 
I had I left you with one order, you guys. Kill Ripburger while I go and save us all. Oh god. It just gets worse and worse for these guys. Will Ben make it out alive? Will Ripburger die? Tune in next week. Ben, just kidding, alive? I wouldn't do that to you. We're totally gonna finish the I game am, right here. But I don't know about Ripburger. Ripburger is not in I good shape. He's out cold. I'm back yeah. here quick. He's passed out. Thanks for the tip. He's totally gonna try and kill me. Um, okay. Well I'll just wait. No wait. Let's 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 go kill this guy. I'm feeling murdery. Um main menu, defense menu, um machine guns. Control fire. What? <laughs> I think you just killed a seagull. I'm trying to kill you, buddy. Guess what? I'm gonna straight up murder you. Um, okay, let's try that again. We got time. Main menu. I, I'm not looking at my little cheat guide for this. I'm actually trying to finish, figure it out myself. Control, aim, lower. See ya. Oh damn! I thought I was so smart. All right, one more shot here. I have one more idea to turn off the. Oh, I took way too long. <laughs> wow. This is the first time I've died in this game, isn't it? That's not bad. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try that again. So this guy's ammo. Do you think life would be more... Do you think you'd feel safer in life knowing that an omniscient being was kind of in control of your life? Because this Ben here guy... This Ben here guy. This guy Ben here... Really, I'm in total control of his whole existence. He has no free will. He's but a puppet uh, unto my weird, twisted desires. And in a way that might be kind of comforting because I'm looking out for him. I'm going to make him win. But I don't know if that would be comforting if that were actually going on. Uh, in fact, that would probably be horrifying if you knew you weren't in control of your own mind and your thoughts were not your thoughts. See ya, bud. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's like a cat. <laughs> oh, good. That is totally the scream of the Joker. In uh, well, my answer's that. And there was a new animated series episode where Batman kicks him off the train. That is totally that. Okay. Now can I just walk out of here? Um, I feel like I'm still gonna die. Oh no, we're all safe. Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane! Um, let's just book it? Can you run, dude? Dude, can you run? Did I just die again? Bye-bye to him, again. Now this time... How poetic. Killed by a license plate. It's the way I'd like to go. <laughs> uh, do you guys like when I do the voice or not? I feel like I didn't do it too much in the first two videos. I don't know, this Wait, third one, it just kind of feels right. I'm, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to have some fun with this one. Um, so luckily they, they do that to you. They like totally hide the motorcycle because they know everyone would go for it if it's obvious. That's like the bunnies. They artificially made that a puzzle when it didn't have to be. Gonna ride out like a badass, like a bat out of hell, boys. Where's my gang in all of this? The polecats. Wasn't I really concerned about those guys? I think they're dead or in jail or something. I've kind of moved on. Life. Now I lead the vultures. Game to him. A massive motorcycle gang like Mad he Max. Played it. By his own rules. He was a mystery. Who's that dude and that girl with the most of us? Oh, it's the polecat dude. Oh, and we didn't get the polecats out. Ah, oh, well, good for them. An inspiration. 
So guys, what do you think of this game? Have you enjoyed my little playthrough here? I hope that you have, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the fact that I came back and did a part three so that we could have a bit of closure here and some conclusion to this tale and this story. Hey, it's uh, Father Torque. It's like the motorcycle Jesus. Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream. Yes. It will never die. Yes. Well, it almost died. It almost died very quickly, actually, in terms of uh, minivans taking over. So. You want to make out? So. <laughs> uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Wow. Yeah, sure. They went from like lunch stopping great. murder and going on grand adventures to like now they're just gonna go eat Things a hamburger. Things are gonna change, are they, Ben? What you know? What the, this couple, I mean, this couple's never gonna survive. The company now. They fell in love during a high octane yeah, situation. They're never gonna last in like the mundanity of like average life. That doesn't life. mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben, I didn't even know she liked me. When she was fixing my bike Hello? and stuff, she didn't really seem to like me all that much. What? I tried to grab her butt. And, no, no, uh, no, that's crazy. Did not, well, it didn't happen Is he because nuts? I didn't think it would work. Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. Ooh. I know, I know, that's what I told him. So yeah, what do you guys think of this game? I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. Um, for these adventure games, I always have this this kind of Excuse debate me? in my what head. Should I just part? play the entire game through? No, no, no. Um, that when I do that, it can make for with... really long multi-part uh -huh. videos. Yeah. And if that's what you guys would like yeah. to see, then yeah. um, I might start doing Great. it more. But... Um, you know, part of my Let's Play Thousand One game series, I'm kind of trying different games. I'm not necessarily beating all these games. And, uh, and yeah, this is, uh, one case, though, where I came back and did beat it. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you have, uh, you should give me a like, give me a subscribe, because I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And, uh, I won't leave the credits going all the way through here. Let's just see what happens when you skip past this one final cutscene. Anything? Anything? Oh, oh, you can't skip. You can't skip. Okay. Well, this is it. We got this badass motorcycle music. My guy walked away from a, a chick who was clearly interested in him. Uh, to what end? We don't know. There unfortunately was never a sequel to this game, even though there were many attempts to make one. Um, and it's, I think the voice actor now has passed away due to uh, cancer, I thought. Maybe I'm way off on this, and I'm totally misremembering, but... Yeah, which is unfortunate, because... This did strike me as a game that totally could have used a sequel. Um, but, you know... Who knows? Who knows? Maybe now that uh, Disney owns Lucas... I don't know if they own LucasArts or not. They must. That must have come part and parcel with the deal. Right? Who owns LucasArts right now? Is it independent? Is it still George Lucas? I don't know. But maybe if uh, Marvel owns it, they will uh, put a uh, full throttle game in the works. I guess it's not very family friendly, and Marvel is being, or not Marvel, um, Disney. God, not Marvel, Disney. But Disney is, okay, one more thing I heard, before, and then I'm going to go. Have you guys heard that Disney is thinking of discontinuing Princess Leia? Um, like Princess Leia in all merchandising and stuff? Princess Leia, you know, Le or, sorry. Wow, not Princess Leia generally, but Princess Leia in the bikini, Slave Leia. So Slave Leia, when she's in her like sexy bikini, I guess it's too, you know, X-rated or R-rated for Disney, and they're thinking of discontinuing it now that they own Star Wars. So there'll be no more sexy Slave Leia in any merchandising. Um, I think that's kind of crazy. Uh, that's like rewriting history. So you know, Disney. If you're listening, if anyone somehow even remotely related to Disney is listening to this, come on, you can't do that. Um, you have your Disney brand. That is what you can keep family friendly. You got Lucasfilm. Let that be a little more risque. You know, why does everything have to be completely family friendly? Get over yourselves. Leave, leave Leia in a bikini. You know, that's my two cents. Anyway, guys, um, until next time, take care of yourselves and peace. Over here and nail me.